everyone. This is Leslie with Color Art. We're going to do another tile test, even though we'll be on multiple tiles. I'm using the Stone Coat Art Coat Resin Part A and B. I forgot to give you guys the coupon code yesterday. If you go to StoneCoatCountertopEpoxy.com and type in R-E-Z-I-N, all lowercase, they will give you $30 off an $80 order. Um, there's a few people out there with coupons like that, and that's a way for you to get some stash to get started at a reasonable price, especially if you're, you know, not getting it, gotten into resin, and resin's kind of pricey to get started with, so it's a great way to get in. We're um, using a couple colors I've already got mixed up. Uh, Blue Moon is our dark, dark, dark blue color. I just have a tiny little sample jar so you can see the dark pigments. Um, African Jade was a very popular color in our water soluble line, so African Sky. I'll try to give you guys little hints in the name. There is a new color though called Glacier Ice, and this is like a 50% silver to blue. I just wanted to see how this is going to react. And um, these three colors, I'm actually making the African Sky, the Glacier Ice, and the Blue Moon are coming up in the next release and so I know I'm going to be, I make the first batch runs, believe it or not kids, I not only do I do the test samples and not only do I create the colors, but I am literally mixing the first batches you guys are getting because I'm testing them all the way through to make sure that they work as I'm doing videos on them and the colors are how I want them. Uh, the glacier ice, like I said, this is really, give you an idea what the powders look like. A lot of people are questioning how can you have powders that have some kind of moisture to them but they don't dry up well they're very unctuous beautiful epoxy color blended with the mica minerals and this one actually has ground metal in it like a silver okay um, <clears throat> i'll mix the blue moon on camera so those that are new can see how fast this dissolves this is about an ounce uh, the Arco resin. I've used this little uh, tester spoon. It's real flat. It only holds it. I know it looks big in the camera, but it only holds an eighth of a teaspoon and you can kind of tap it to the side, which I did here to put that in. I've already dropped the blue moon in. It's pretty much already dissolving, but I want you to see how quickly this mixes up. ready for your plain pleasure. That is such a deep, deep, deep dark blue. Where the Belize blue is more of a lagoon blue, as you keep thinning it out, you're gonna get more and more of like cyans. This is more of what I call cobalt, even though I know there's a lot of manufacturers there, cobalt looks more cyan. But this would probably translate to the rich cobalt in our existing line, that real dark blue. I have some stone coat uh, black and white mixed up. I am getting some other white and black tonight uh, because I know that the stone coat, if I'm not too careful, kind of can take over my project because of the base in it. And yet we use it because of the, it creates great cells. So I'm just learning to edit myself. I, like I said, I can make colors, but I'm still learning this whole resin thing. So. My extent of experience with resin until people started asking me, pushing me to make this stuff was basically I dated a guy in high school who made surfboards. That was pretty much my extent, okay? So let's just get started with this dark blue moon. See how close up we can get this camera so you guys can see this as I'm pulling these colors out. I promise I'll adjust the camera so you don't lose me. Oh, my hands are already lots of color. That is an unctuous, beautiful, sparkly blue. Of course, they all have sparkle. None of our colors are matte. There's plenty of other companies out there that make matte color. Okay, before I add in the white, trying to learn my lesson from yesterday, I'm using 
colors in the same family. Yeah, that's a lot of color right there. That's a lot of color right there. I'm sorry for whispering. I know I'm, mud I'm muddled to myself. Um, I'm going to lay some of the stone coat white, just a thin little bit, kind of over the top of parts of this. I had some pretty good effects with that yesterday. I'm still liking the black on my four corners, or at least on one area, at least on one side. I think that some of those tiles yesterday I did both sides, some of them I did one side. This one I think I'm going to do it on all, since I have enough paint on there. If it goes over, it'll create some nice effects with that white, or it'll just kind of frame my piece. I guess is my thought about this. Again, I don't want too much black in there because it's pretty black, but very strong. Okay. I think I'm going to use the glacier ice in the next one. I do have some dragon gold here. I do look, I like how the black looks up against that gold. It is quite pretty. Just a little line of the gold. I, I'm using these little paper cups that I can squeeze up on. I can find any spots in here that don't really have color without making this all about the gold because gold, as we know, can dominate everything. I just want a little bit there, okay? So, uh, Betty Miller, you were right, because I took your advice yesterday, and I know that Jeff from Artist Till Death has told us to warm up the path, and I had very good luck with that yesterday. So, thank you, Betty. Okay, we're going to warm this up. I have some white space here, so I think that's going to be the first area I blow right here. I'm already getting cells where that white, I didn't even done anything. And look where the black and white is hitting one another. I'm even getting little itty bitty cells off of this where it's starting to hit the black and we haven't really done anything but warm it slightly. mixing the colors. If I'm tilting, then hmm, I'm not in my happy place yet.
Loving the colors. Okay, I'm risking overworking this now. I'm liking certain parts. Mm. Well, yesterday that pink and, and red plum, that second or third piece came out so perfect. Maybe a little overconfident for today, but you know, that's the thing, that's the price of this whole resin thing, man, is you don't get too cocky or, or overconfident, because it will kick your butt right back and say, oh, you think you have me mastered? Think again. So at this point, tilting's much smarter until I get a pleasing pattern, because I don't want to keep Mixing it, keep mixing it, and then I get mud. Not that you can really get mud with transparent colors or clean colors, but it loses its brilliance. Okay, I might have used too much black. <laughs> no surprise. I'm sure we're going to get some more selling in here, but while this resin is warm and ready, I've got a few more tiles to do. So. Let's just move on, pop to the second one. I'm not going to get all obsessive over this. I'm going to see what happens to it after it sits for a little bit. Get it on someplace flat. Get my next one in. Spread it with a little alcohol. New tiles out of the box. Still can have smidgy stuff on it. You certainly don't want on your pieces. These make great coasters, trivets. So we're not really wasting it. Okay. So let's try this glacier ice. Make this kind of the king of the, the hill here. Wow, can you see that? Wow. That has a bunch of silver in it. I don't have my phone in here, I don't think, so I can't show you the extra glitz by having my little uh, flashlight on here. But whoa, 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 this is gonna be real pretty, especially with that dark, dark blue moon. So this is Glacier Ice. I'm gonna turn this around. Again, I don't know if this is right or wrong, but I'm going to pour the heavier bloom in from the top here like I did the other. Oh, that's pretty. Let's just add some white randomly. I'm not going to go through the whole thing with white. I'm going to put some clear around some of the edges here. So it's lubricating my tile so there's a place for this to, to blow over without having to have all that black on the edges.
I need a third color, but I'm going to use, of course, some gold in here, just a little dribble. Okay, we'll see if I've got enough clear. It looks like some of my glacier ice has been lost. Boy, that gold is in your face sparkly. This is dragon gold. This is our antique gold. Uh, you, might, might you guys might compare it to Egyptian gold in our previous line. Okay, I am coming out with a yellow gold. I already got the material. It's not on the website yet. And as soon as it's done and named, by the way, we're still trying to figure out what to name it, but imagine a more bright yellow gold just as sparkly. Um, that way, you know, we needed both golds in the line. Okay, so let me get my hands clean. I'm going to wipe that off. I have a little hole in the middle. That's got no paint. That's got no paint. I think I'm just going to put a tiny bit of clear there, drop it in. For the lubrication. Okay, let's warm it up. Wish me luck. I like that, but I'm going to tilt it a little bit over to this way because I like it so much. So let's see what happens here. I like it and I don't want to mess with this. Get this in the camera. Get this down. Wow, that's pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna slightly tilt it here. You know I like that gold. Wow, I didn't think I'd like all that white, but that is really pretty. Lost a little bit of the glacier ice. And yet, I know it's all mixed in that white, and with all that silver, that's going to be so pretty. Here, we got a little oopsie. I think I'm going to tilt this way. Hopefully, it'll poop. Other than it's pulling this down, which that's the problem with tilting. Right? Well, I covered my oopsie. I still think I want to move this blue out. I know it's a risk. Even though I am loving the lacing. seeing what's happening here. I'm loving this little bit of glacier ice that's popping right up against that. Oh yeah. Okay, just like dry like that right now, please. <laughs> now, the trick with putting the clear on top works better on the canvas than on the tile. I know you guys have been seeing me put that on the canvas. And if I was going to this was a canvas piece. Let's get a close-up. This little spot right here, 
this glacier ice, I know it's, it's probably too close up now because I can see the greeniness. That's all that metal in that paint. It's creating this interesting little uh, spot here. Hang on, I need to get my hands clean again. I just, there's so much white on there. So I would, and on canvas, I guess was my point, that's a spot that I would pick to drop some clear on. I'm going to try it here just so you guys can see it. There isn't a little clear over where you have different um, texture happening can accentuate that texture. Still a lot of white on there. I really want to push some of this back. Uh, but I don't want to risk messing this up because even with all the white on it, that's pretty. That's a very interesting kind of pretty. Okay, now dry, just like that, please. <laughs> this excites me. I, you know, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit more brave. Well, that is stunning. I love that color combination. Okay, with your permission, I'm going to go grab my phone. I want to see how sparkly it is. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. See the blue moon, see the dragon gold. Boy, it's hard to tell. That's almost blinding with that little bit of glacier ice in the center because that's all that silver that's in there. And you know, the glacier ice blue and that dragon gold don't look bad at all together. Crazy. So there's your blue moon, glacier ice, dragon gold, stone coat white. I'm glad I did this, even though it's still darker here and white on the outside i got that extra layer of lacing which i love okay we're going to do another one i'm going to keep my thumb right here because we got more colors to play with let's knock it out again these are tests so i can verify i'm happy with the color before i do the the final batch run because i am the one that at least designed these and i test out the first batches myself and then, uh, of course, I want to verify color combinations that I need the practice. Hello, I've not played with resin that much. Um, just your practice so I can make some pieces. First two ones, if you guys have been watching my videos, I'm getting so lost in the color that I'm not going back to the basics. Well, I'm liking this um, vein. By putting that little bit of clear down, it really opened up that glacier ice. And again, I know it's really kind of weird on the camera because you see the grains, it's from that metal. But there's this really cool vein of blue that's popping up right there. Boy, it's hard to tell. Because again, that silver in there is like in the camera, in your face, almost blinding. Okay, next one, next one, next one. Sorry. I like that one. Can you tell? Okay, so we're going to get this one off. And just for gins and giggles, I want to go back and look at that first one that we did, even though it didn't exactly give me what I was hoping for. It's still quite pretty. It was a great test of colors. And while I've got my light here on my phone, yeah, 
Again, you can see the blue moon glittering. Uh, wow, there's a lot of green in that African jade and look how the light's picking up all the green even though it's a turquoise. It is very much a beautiful teal. Again, those of you familiar with our African jade, you're gonna love African sky. Next batch runs being made. We've estimated October 1st, it may take that long. We're waiting, waiting for another batch load of mica to come in, but my, I am trying really hard to have these ready next week. Those first 12 have already shipped, guys, or are shipping as we speak. The crew is down there shipping that pretty in pink and red plum that I was playing with yesterday and the platinum rose. Okay, let's do the next tile. Get this off. Do another one while we still have resin to play with. You know, I keep using alcohol to get everything off. I know it's going to be covered with resin, but I like my surface as clean as possible, even though this one's not perfect. It is going to be covered with paint. So what do I have left? I kind of have more African sky than anything. So we're going to make African sky the hero of this. I'm going to lay some gold. I guess that's a little bit too darn precise, isn't it? <laughs> Um, well, African Jade is such a dark color, we know the black is contrasting. But again, let me try what I was doing yesterday with just a little bit down one side. Actually, this probably would have worked as a, a white side. There's such a big area here. Boy, those are so pretty all on their own. I can't believe how gorgeous that African sky is. And <clears throat> I'll put a little bit of white, at least around all my edges here. I'm going to lace a little bit white, but not as much as I used in that last one, just a little bit. Hopefully that's not too much. Okay, I have some of that darker blue. I think I'm going to put the darker blue on, that's that blue moon, fill in all these little holes and gaps. Or no resins, kind of gone. We know this is going to be a really sparkly. Yeah, the dark blues really show up beautiful on the camera. The mica just blings out like crazy on that camera with the darker blues. The blue blues in this blue moon are stunning colors. Um. I have some glacier ice, and even though I know it's sort of the same value, I'm going to lay it right here. And maybe pour some right here that can go right up against this black. I'm just putting here. Put, putting here, guys. Punting. <laughs> Put, putt's like golf. Punting's like punting in football. Okay, so... We have some good white along our edges. I'm gonna dribble a little bit of black in here, my da most dangerous color, but I love how it looks. And just for the fun of it, I'm gonna follow my white line slightly with a little black in here to see if I can get some depth and dimension. I still have some holes. Again, putting this, well, oh, I should put the glacier ice next to that black. I'm thinking of what's contrasting, right? What's contrasting? So I have a hole here, I did have a hole here. Another hole here where there's hole meaning there's no resin. Yeah, 
The only thing with using the clear on top for all the marbling is a tile can only take so much. It's like pouring on glass. After a point, it's going to come off. So you've got to be really careful what you're using. I have a little bit of blue left and I have a hole right here. I'm going to put some of that blue moon left. Blue moon. Song. It's probably where it came from, I'm sure. Kind of it. Music, gemstones, flowers, mystical stuff, everything that influences me. Wow, look what's happened to the African jade with the black over it. I think I have a tiny bit of African jade left. Yes, I do. I am literally going to re-pour my African Jade right on top of where that black and white was. I don't want it lost. So I'm glad I have some extra. Okay. This is always that point where we say, well, where are we going to blow first? Where do we put the gun first? Well, I have a ton of that African Jade right here. Oops. I lost my flash pussy. <laughs> Incidentally, it's great to have this little extension on your heat gun. It focuses the air. They call this like a little platypus edge. In case you're wondering what I'm talking about. Kind of like what's happening here. I actually like this little pattern I got in here. some selling over here that I'm really liking and that black is kind of dominating so I'm going to just tilt this slightly see if I can encourage those white cells here in this one corner where my finger is of it's pretty. I'm getting some interesting marbling right here with the gold over the blue but not enough of it and not sure if I actually see that color here but see how that gold looks when it's swiped over that blue moon I'm getting all kinds of variations of colors there I'm liking the cells popping in here 
I wanted to encourage some of this feathering and make sure I wasn't getting too black like that first one. I do like the patterns here. I'm getting some interesting selling in here with that white and the African sky. Boy, if I have, this was on a big canvas, I definitely would spread this out. I'll put some clear on top. I know it looks a little bit busier than the other two, but oh, it's pretty. Sorry, my, I'm trying to make sure my little tiles are flat. And that's one thing you've got to be sure of. You need to be on an absolute flat surface because the tile surface is so rigid. If you A, have too much resin on it or it's off just ever so slightly of a degree, you're going to find that your resin's pouring off an edge that you don't want it to on these tiles. So I'm using these little caps, spray caps from spray cans or spray paint. Um, these were actually spray lacquer that I had because I don't really have any spray paint yet, but I got this pro tip from Jeff and it does stay flat and you can peel the old resin off real easily. Well, I'm, I'm actually starting to like this the more that I look at it. what you guys think of the colors as they're changing right before our eyes because they're getting some interesting wispy lines and patterns that are starting to pop through. I'm not getting much too much drippage off the side so I think I have just the right amount. Okay. I'm going to push this to the back and I've got one more. I have more clear resin than not so I think I'm going to mix up some more Blue Moon. Um, if I can find my jar here. That's right, it was in a little sample jar. Sorry, I've got my tile in the camera and I know you guys can't see me mix this. I'm going to mix it super, super fast. Um, pouring some clear on top of some pigments here. Just a little dribble so I can mix up a little more blue moon. I really, really love that African sky. I am totally in love with it. I have a little bit left but not enough. And I'm just maybe, these are not even going to be half ounces. I'm just dropping a little tiny bit of color and a little tiny bit of resin just to make, as long as I have some clear left, which I do. It's amazing. You only need a few ounces and you can make like four tiles pretty easily. I'm using these little paper cups, even though they're bigger than I probably need because I like how they squish down and give me details. Okay, so now I've got paint on my piece. You know, I'm about to put paint on it and I really shouldn't worry about it, but it's habit. Nasty habit, start with a clean surface. Well, let's try something different. Yeah, the resin's starting to set up, so. It just, I'm just noticing it's just getting a little bit thicker. I'm actually gonna drop some gold here. I'm doing a puddle pour. We'll see how this works, two puddle pours together. Okay, what the heck, let's do one in the middle, like a long puddle pour. Put some of this African jade in the middle. Okay, this could turn out to be the best one of all. We don't know, right? I'll take some of this uh, blue moon. 
whatever I've got left. Kind of dribble it in here. Glaze your ice. I have a tiny bit of, and I mean tiny, probably not even enough to make a difference. It's how much glacier ice I have. And I'm actually going to put the white around this so it heats over it. I have some stone coat black. I'm going to use the black this time. I'm going to do my edges the same way. Just the four edges. No black in the middle because it kind of took over that other piece. Take the rest of my clear. So there's resin at least on the top of this thing. Move this clear around. I can hear my cats playing in the background. Of course. I'm going to play around while mommy's on camera. Just making sure there's resin everywhere that I can possibly see. There's a tiny bit here missing. Of course, I can probably get away with a little bit more black here. I have some black left, so just a little bit more black. Just kind of move it in. Get my edges covered with black. I still don't know which way I'm going to blow, so while I'm doing this, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> yes, I'm killing time here trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Okay, so I think we could use a little bit of gold here since we have so much mixed. And I mixed up the least amount of gold of all the colors, believe it or not. So, first time I ever saw Melly D do a video, she was doing regular acrylic paint pouring. She taught us to do one single draw to the colors. Okay? I might kind of want to do two and create a pattern like that. Let's see what happens. Already like it. <laughs> I haven't even done anything. Wow, you can really see that African Jade and this little bitty dollop of uh, our, uh, the uh, glacier ice. You can see it's a completely different blue than the African Jade and the Blue Moon. I think I'm out of kilt. I'm a little bit tilted. Go with me. I have a blank spot is what I'm trying to work on right here. That's the only risk of putting that clear in. Oh, this is interesting. What's popping up here? Is that from the white? 
I'm getting this really interesting bright turquoise blue dot. Don't know what that is, but it's really, really pretty. It's right here. So I'm gonna go for it and put a drop of clear on top of that and see what happens. Oh, we're getting some really nice cells up here. Wow. I like the gold and the blue moon and the African jade webbing right over that gold. I didn't think that would happen like that. I'm really happy with that. This is kind of bugging me. I don't know what it is. So I'm going to just kind of swipe it and see what happens. I'm liking the lacing, all that lacing. Okay, let me get my phone up. I think we're out of resin now. I've got a little clear left, that's it. But, oh, yeah, you can see where I combed that African jade. Unfortunately, all the green in African jade is dominating. So when you take the camera away, you can see the turquoise. But there's a ton of uh, green pearl in the African sky. I keep calling it African jade, sorry. I'm loving this. This is in beautiful marbling right there. And of course that blue moon in dragon gold is just glittering like crazy against that black and white. Okay everybody, well, um, these are my four pieces. Thank you for joining me. The test was on <clears throat> blue moon glacier ice, so I can show you the packaging here. This is the jar of the glacier ice. Blue moon glacier ice, African sky. Uh, dragon gold and stone coat black and white. Hope you've enjoyed. Have a good day. Bye-bye.